Hey there strangers, my name is Eos, and this is Towerfall Ascension, a game that I'm sure a lot of you are probably pretty familiar with at this point, but for those of you who aren't, this game came out roughly a year ago, during a sudden influx of games that made it seem like the indie scene was trying to single-handedly revive the couch co-op versus arena style combat uh, type of game, which is a genre that outside of Super Smash Brothers has been sorely lacking in recent years, so I'm totally fine with them bringing that back because I love that kind of game. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, just show off because I've been playing some of this lately and it is pretty awesome. Now, this is a game that um, admittedly shines with multiplayer. This is a game that is great for versus modes, just fight against your friends and have all sorts of crazy arena fun. Unfortunately, uh, my friends, one, don't understand the concept of Let's Plays, and two, aren't really into just silly, arcadey, arena-style combat games, which that, that just makes for a really sad day. That, that's just depressing. However, that's just fine, because luckily this game right here has a single player. Well, it has a co-op mode that allows one, two, four players, which is uh, what I'm going to play, because like I said, I've been playing this, and it is pretty fun. I rather enjoy it. So, we are going to go on to the quest mode right here, and we have multiple characters that we can choose from. We have the Vigilante Thief, the Last of the Order, Assassin Prince, um, the Turncloak Soldier, the Vainglorious Ghoul, and once again, the Vigilante Thief. Who is which one, blah, whatever I'm trying to say. This is the character that I'm going to play because she looks pretty cool. I like her so far. So let's go ahead and start that up. And now we have our world map. So as you can see, I've played a little of this. I've played all the way up until... I could have sworn I beat that level. Yes, I haven't. I played most of the areas in this uh, starting zone. I believe there may be other zones. I'm not entirely sure. But I guess I'm just going to go ahead and go to the Sacred Ground, the first one, and kind of just show you what kind of game this is, for those of you who don't know. And for those of you who do, hopefully you'll enjoy my flailing about and probably dying. So, actually, there's the controls right there. So I'm actually playing with a controller because I've actually got one that works now. And we got Move, Jump, Shoot, and Dodge Catch because those are the same thing, apparently. Can do that. All right, so sacred ground, normal mode. Cool. Go ahead and start. There we go. Guess I'll go left and right and up and down. So we just aim our little person all over the places. You can squish it. It's kind of cute as she ducks. Let's try to remember this. Okay, so we've got this, which is jump, and the frame rate just dropped. I'm sorry. All right, there we go. Okay, the frame rate screwed up on me for a minute there. But we're going to ignore that. Nobody saw that. We're moving on. So as you can see, we have this little archer girl here who can uh, just move around in eight separate directions. She can crouch down and makes her squish, which is all cute and stuff. But we are currently being chased by ghosts. How could you possibly kill a ghost? Well, maybe you would go up behind them or in front of them, hello, how you doing, and shoot them with arrows. However, this game does have a, a rather interesting selection of enemies. It, like those ghosts right there, if you shoot at them, they will actually dodge your first shot, and you actually have to shoot them twice in order to finish them off, which is actually kind of cool. I like that. But as you see, we can actually aim our arrow in all different directions. If you happen to jump, you can actually aim straight down. So you can aim in eight separate directions, and uh, you actually only have the arrows that you have over your head. So right now I only have three, now I have two, now I have one, but... The great thing about this is you can actually go pick up your arrows, which is really cool. I like that. So it, it's an interesting mechanic. You have limited ammo, but you can go pick it up again. So it's it's um, kind of a finite resource that you have to manage, which is really cool. However, you can actually dispatch enemies in one other way. We can get our platformer on and just jump on top of their heads and destroy them like that, which is really, really cool. I really like that. Also, as you see right there, there are actually pickups in this as well. There's a lot of stuff to talk about in this, and I really like it. Like, for instance, as I just showed right Right there, um, these levels will actually loop around. So you can actually go off the left or the right or the top or the bottom, holy crap, hello, <laughs> and uh, get the drops on your enemies, which is really cool. Or the enemies can get the drop on you, as you can see right there. Holy crap, thank you for that. You drop on you, thank you. It's going to shoot you. Ooh, two for one, that is beautiful. Also, we have, um, was it a flying eyeball with a scorpion tail? Why, why is that a thing? I don't even know. But so, um, as you've probably seen, I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this. I'm enjoying it, but there's so much to try to explain while there's enemies everywhere. Actually, while there's only one guy right there, I'll go and explain it. So, as you saw, you can pick up your uh, shots as you fire them. Your character can only jump once. However, she can actually latch onto ledges. She can actually uh, bounce off of walls and kind of triangle jump off of walls, which is pretty cool right there. And, uh, what else do we got here? Oh yeah, if you shoot through the fire, we'll actually have a flaming arrow, which is really cool. And also, uh, whenever you fire an arrow, it'll actually be sort of magnetically attracted to the 
closest enemy. That was a really good one because I was straight ahead. But it'll actually move up or down or left or right to try to home in on the most close enemy, which is pretty cool. I like that. It's, it's probably kind of necessary for a game in which you can only aim in eight directions. And as you see right here, uh, we have some different level types, I suppose it'd be, or round types, where it'll do stuff like this, where it like just suddenly goes dark so you can't see the platforms, which I'm totally fine with. I think that is really cool. And I almost forgot to mention, actually, let's go ahead and do it right here. You can actually shoot yourself with your own arrows, which is not cool. Oh yeah, you've also got a dash. You can dash in any direction, which as we will see later, there will be enemies who have arrows of their own, uh, which you can actually grab arrows out of the air. Actually, if I do this, I can dash into my arrow and grab it right out of the air, even though it was on fire, which seemed like a really bad idea, but that is really cool. Oh, there's one right there. Cool. Let's get I've got even more arrows. I don't need more arrows. I am full up. Hello. How you doing? Let's go. Yeah, grab. Oh, I'm full up on arrows, but now. Oh, yeah, you can actually grab my arrows, too. Unfortunately, he was trying to shoot an arrow when I got over there, so, um... Too bad for him, he's kind of dead. And that was challenge level thingy number one. And I didn't even die? Oh, that is amazing. I, I'm not very good at this game. Like, I, this is really cool. I'm not super good at it. I'm amazed I didn't die though. That was kind of cool. I didn't, did I? I don't think I did. So let's go, let's just go into the second area. Because these are, these are actually pretty short uh, little arena things. And I don't know how far it goes. I don't know how many levels there are outside of the ones that you've seen in this uh, initial map here. But for what it's got, I really enjoy it. It's really cool. And each of the levels has different little uh, mechanics to it, like this right here. It allows you to jump higher. It's some weird little squishy brain thing. I don't know what it is. Hello, you seem to- Ow! You've got a knife and that is not cool. However, I'm just going to drop down here and kill that ghost and drop on your head! I think these guys might actually be able to knock your, um, your arrows away. Let's find out. Hello, how are you? Yes, you can! They can dodge and they can knock your arrows out of the air. But that's fine. Could you stop moving? I'm trying to get my arrow back. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go up here. Now that I've shown you all the mechanics, now it's time to get serious. It's time to annihilate everybody who stands in my way. So these guys right here, much like the ghosts, you can't actually jump on them and kill them. Um, but they will knock away your first shot. However, they do not seem to be able to knock away um, consecutive shots. I think that's the right word. If I fire two, that if I fire two of these at them, like one after the other, they'll knock away one, and then they'll get stabbed by the second one. So as long as you have two of these on you, you should be fine. Can you actually get them if I shoot straight up? No, you cannot. There you go. Why can't I pick up your knife? I want to throw knives at people. That would be cool. I can attach them to my my arrows. And have a double. Arrow. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm being stupid. There you go. Died you. There we go. I like the background's really nice too. I like the aesthetic. Like a lot of these indie games tend to go with, um, you know, whoa, <laughs> retro pixelated aesthetic. But this is one of those ones I think works. It looks nice. It's not really half acidly done like some games I've seen. I think they did a pretty good job with it, and I rather enjoy it. So let's see if we get a double squash here. Come on, get down here. I'll jump on both of you. Come on, come on, come on. Go over here and jump on you. No, no, no. Squish. Come, get back here. I'm trying to squish you. You and my... Ow! How did you get me? I was midair. Oh, I forgot that was a th That was perfectly time for me to show off another mechanic. Whenever you come back to life, you make some weird shockwave thing that will kill everything in the vicinity, which I am totally fine with. That is cool. Another... Po did that make me invisible? Can I be touched? I can be- I can still be touched. What was the point of that? I don't know. I just jumped at that like an idiot. Uh, but, you know, experimentation, that's the name of the game. Uh, actually, the name of the game is, uh, Towerfall, but that is not the point. Okay, fire. Yeah, I dare you! Give me that- give me that arrow. You have any arrows left? I don't think he does. Which you, you could've grabbed this one, but you didn't, like an idiot- No, you did! He still went off of me? I don't know! Holy crap! None of that! Come on! Come on! Get, go get your arrow! I dare you! I dare you to go after that arrow! There you go, there you go, and go- no! No, I can double jump too! No! You squished me! You! Uh, you know what? Fine! Let's- Oh, you picked up two arrows at the same time! That is not cool! You know what? You know what? I don't know what! I'm just dying! There we go! And sadly, whenever you kill those guys, you can actually only get, like, one arrow off of them. It's whichever one they're holding. So if they happen to have some, like, special arrows, as I've seen later, uh, too bad! You get- Like, if they, they're holding one special arrow, you'll get that one back. The rest of them are just lost, which kind of sucks. But oh well. All right. I, oh, there's fire! I didn't even see the fire! I forgot there was fire! Oh, come on, that is not cool at all. Ready, and squish! There we go. Kill the ghost. Oh! Oh, that was a twofer! I love it! How many arrows? I got three arrows. And there you go, you're dead. Extra dead. There we go. And we are on to the last section of this area, which is kind of cool. All right, come on. What you got for me? What you, you got? Stabby dudes? I don't care about stab- Oh, no! I failed! Oh, no! I was smack-talking and I died! Oh! You know what? 
I, I'm not gonna make you watch that again. Instead, what we are going to do is I'm gonna play that one on hardcore mode, which I have never attempted. I have no idea what's in our, car, our hardcore mode. I'm assuming it's gonna be a kind of hardcore. We are about to find out together because I have no idea. Oh yeah, bring it on. I've only got six levels to survive. And this time, I've already explained all the mechanics so there should be nothing to worry about. Squish you, kill you, fire, fire, oh. I, I, I lost all my arrows. Arrow, now I got my arrows back. That's more like it. Come on. I'm assuming it's probably just gonna give me more enemies. Could you not spawn someone while I'm mid-air trying to stomp on something? That's not cool at all. Aha! Take that, ghost! Give me that. Excuse me. Come through here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just murdering everybody. That guy just barely dodged me. I'm not doing this game justice. I am just getting my butt kicked. No! None of that. No. I can just knock you off the side. Here we go. Yeah. Yes! I just... Plowed into him. That's awesome. Come on. Come on. Squish him. There we go. For some reason, gravity affects me faster than everyone else. I fall quicker than everyone, and that is really weird. Maybe they have better wind resistance. I have no idea. No, 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 no. There, there. There we go. Now, come on. Squish that eyeball thing. Whatever you are. Kill it. There we go. I don't know what this does, because they can still hurt me. I tried it a minute ago. I just became kind of invisible, sort of, maybe. And maybe they don't know where I am? I don't really know. I have no clue. That's fine. So we are actually doing better than I expected. Kablamo, there we go. Other than the fact that I've already died twice. And we're only on, like, the second uh, area thingy. There we go. Grab that. Grab... Oh, I knocked his body off the side. Oh, that's terrible. Or was he pinned to the wall? I don't know. Either way. Hello, eyeballs. How are you? Just kill that one. Kill that one. Get my stuff back. Then kill that one. Kill that one. Ah, and run away. Holy crap. Okay, up we go. Or not up we go. We'll just grab this. Don't mind me. Just kill the ghost. Kill the ghost. Just punch him in the face. Do something. I don't know. Okay. There's a few more enemies here. Not a fan of that. That is too many enemies. That is way too many enemies. Oh, there's fire too. No, not fire. Here we go. Kill. Kill. Destroy. De oh, no. I need these. Come on, I need those. I need those back right now. Okay, ready? Ooh, there we go. And not into the fire we don't go. That is awesome. There we go. There we go. And also I said not into the fire we don't go, which is completely incorrect English. But whatever. I am panicking. Shut up. All right, grab that. Squish you. Shoot the eyeball. Weird sentences come out of this game, but whatever. It's fine. There we go. I shot you in your stupid cloaked face. All right, we're up to level four. Awesome. So, I'm gonna try to beat this, then I'll show you one of the later levels with some of the, um, different kinds of arrows you can get because they're kinda cool there. Oh, I got them both and even dropped something for me, which is awesome! Take that, you stupid ghost! I love how the ghosts have- Also, I forgot to mention- I was gonna say, I love how the ghosts have little halos. Um, ev all the enemies in this seem to have unique death animations, which is pretty cool. I like that they give it that kind of detail! I just noticed the fire! Holy crap! I don't know if the fire will affect the, uh, the AI or not. It would be great if it did! It doesn't. No, not even the slightest. Not cool. Not cool. Double standards. Don't like it. No! Oh, I had a shield. I had a shield. I didn't notice it, and then I stood in the fire like an idiot. That's That was terrible. Okay, come on. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on, cloak dude. Who? No! Yeah, there we go. Ghost? Bad ghost. Who died now? There we go. Oh, my arrows are in the fire. I need those. Uh, please, I, I think um, whenever you end these rounds, it'll know. You air dashed at me, you stupid little stabby jerk. And yeah, take that, there we go. So yeah, at the end of each round, it'll actually reset. Uh, things like the fire, oh no, that was almost very uncool. Get that, there you go, give me that, excuse me. Come on down, I dare you, I dare you to, no! That was almost very bad, fire, arrows downward, there we go. I killed him and I brought my arrows back to me, that is amazing. Hello, how are you, I'm just gonna stomp on your head, thanks. All right, and, uh, oh, oh I'm over. I was looking at the ceiling. No, I was, I was looking up because I was, I thought I had fallen, but I didn't. I had grabbed a ledge and didn't realize it. You are giving me too many enemies, and I am not cool with it anymore. It was kind of cool at first, but way, way too many. Stop it. Okay, there's gonna be a guy right here. No, no, none of that, none of that. Okay, stab you. Stab, stab. Yes, double or pinned him to a wall. That's glorious. No, no, you freaking eyeball creature of death. I hate you. All right, so that is that level. So I just kind of showed that off. We're going to go off to this level right here, which is the last one I have played. I thought I'd beaten this. Apparently I haven't, but yeah, I'm going to go back to normal mode so maybe I'll actually finish it. But I'm going to show off that it has uh, different kinds of arrows and different kinds of enemies, which is pretty cool. And actually, this one has some uh, different... Um, 
arena elements as well. Like the ice! Look, I got ice! I will slide very slowly! Actually, it seems to just continue whatever you were sliding at. So you can slide like a pixel a second, which is really kind of weird. Alright, so grab this. Oh, hello! How are you doing? So now, I have um, drill arrows, which are kind of interesting. As you can see, that guy right there actually drilled through the ground, just like these arrows will do! Those are so cool! I love that! Actually, if you fire off the side, go over that way, it'll actually drill all the way around and come out the other side. That is so cool! So what they'll actually do is... You've got drill arrows too! That is not cool the slightest. Okay, um, what it'll actually do is it'll drill through one surface and then it'll get stuck in the next thing that it runs into. Um, the enemies apparently have those too, but uh, anyway, I, I got flustered. I got I just getting my butt kicked all of a sudden. It was terrible. Uh, granted, this is a much, much later level, so that kind of makes sense. Also, we can triangle jump. Look at that. Oh, we got up here. That's awesome. And squish. No, no. Oh, it worked. That is awesome. And now, oh. They could also go into a little ball. I was using that arrow! However, this arrow was great for fighting these guys, because they can't grab it when it's coming up through the floor, which is really, really quite useful. I love that. I, I, I really like the um, element of being able to kind of sneak attack these guys when they have no idea it's coming. You just fire through the floor, of all things, which is really, really cool. Alright, so, only one little eyeball creature left, and now, the, <laughs> why could that drill through you? It should be spinning, it's a drill arrow! I, I don't know how a drill arrow works. I, I don't know, the mechanics, is it, is it mechanical? Is it d powered by arrow? I don't know, I have no idea what that even means! Oh, come on, they would have missed me if I didn't move! That would have been perfect! Okay, come on, get this ghost! So get the ghost! There we go. Um, my arrow came up the other side. Not cool. Not cool at all. Luckily, I, I have yet to run into an enemy that you could not just stomp and kill, which is really, really useful. Um, other than, I guess, these um, these roly-poly guys, whatever exactly they're supposed to be, uh, will not die if they are in that little ball form, as you saw, which kind of makes sense. That's their whole thing. Um, but everybody else seems to be like you can just jump on them and kill them, which is really, really nice. You just have to be very precise with your actions or you'll get totally screwed, which is like, oh, did you see that? I killed four of those with two shots because it cycled all the way around. That was glorious. I kind of wish these would actually drill through enemies and keep going, but that's ah, fine, whatever. Get that was not cool in the slightest, could you not? There we go. What level are we on? I don't know. Gotta kill this guy first. Are you coming up through there? You coming up through there? Well, you did. You succeeded, and I did nothing about it. I tried. I failed. Arrow we go. Get arrow, arrow. Get over here. Get more arrows. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's one right here. Glorious. Okay, so I actually was not paying attention. I don't know how many levels we have left. Hopefully, though, I will be able to survive. I've only got one life left. Oh, no. Well, if I die, that'll still be it for this episode, because I want to go super long in this, because you you've seen basically what it is. This is a really fun little arcadey arena-style shooting game with arrows and stuff, which is really fun. I really like it. I'm, I'm sh like, like I said, this sort of game is amazingly better uh, with multiplayer, as a lot of these games tend to be. But even in single player, this is still pretty fun. I'm glad that they have this arena mode. I, or a co-op mode, or whatever you want to call it. I kind of wish that they would make it so you could play the um, the versus mode in single player. Oh, we're on the last level! Uh, the, in single player, so you just fight against AI opponents. But I guess that's more or less what this is, because you're fighting waves of dudes in the other one. The other version! Oh, you can grab it if it goes up! I forgot about that! Um, and the, the other version would just be fighting four guys, and then it would be over! No! No! Okay, you've got nothing! Oh, I grabbed it out of the air! Didn't even, you shot your fr- Oh, you shot me, but you shot your friend. You know what? Fire, 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 fire! Yes! You couldn't handle all those arrows! Take that! And mission has been completed! Barely. Just barely. I don't even think that should count. I just spammed that guy to death. But you know what? I will take it, because that was still pretty glorious. But anyway, this has been Towerfall Ascension. Uh, even, even though it only shows Towerfall on the title screen. But still, this is Towerfall Ascension. It's just, it's a really fun little arcadey arena style couch co-op versus style game that I personally really enjoy. It, uh, like I said, this game is way better with other people to play with, just like pretty much any game in existence. But even so, the single player on this is still pretty fun. I really enjoy it. And being an indie game, it is relatively cheap, so it kind of makes up for the fact that I only actually get to play half the game. Which isn't their fault. The game mode is totally there. I, my friends just suck. That's pretty much what this boils down to. But either way, this has been Towerfall. I hope you guys have enjoyed my flailing around like a lunatic and screaming like a coward while firing arrows at ghosts and blobs and weird things like that. Take care, and I will see you next time.